Alright everybody, welcome back to Fallout 76, and they just had, um, well not just, I think it was about a week ago, a week and a half ago, they, uh, put out the Steel Dawn update, so we'll be checking that out. Uh, they've put a couple of things, new things in there. Or, uh, some, some pretty good updates I have heard. Yeah. Alright, so, Advictorium, the Brotherhood of Steel is back, meet new characters, visit new and updated locations, and unlock rewards during the all-new Steel Dawn questline. We have Head Underground, read a Shelter's Claim Center poster in any train station to start the home expansion quest, and claim your very own instanced camp shelter. Now, I've heard some uh, stuff about that we'll talk about in a loading screen. Don't just survive, thrive. We've replaced all negative effects from hunger and thirst with buffs that increase as you eat and drink. So, I don't need to carry food and drink with me anymore. Um, so yeah, that'd be nice. Gear up, complete still on quests and daily ops to get new weapons and armor rewards straight from the Brotherhood Arsenal. All right. Well, we got some free stuff in the Atomic Shop. Vault Atrium Shelter. Oh, that's not free. Oh, the shelter's poster. Might as well. And that's it. So, it, yeah, this is what I've heard. So, doing the shelter's quest line will grant you a free shelter, but you only get a small, very small one. They, you really, uh, there's not much room in it you have to buy the other one from the atomic shop or atom shop um, and then if you have fallout first you get another different one so um, sadly they're making a lot more things to where you either need to be playing it literally constantly or you have to be buying their fallout first stuff um, And it's just kind of depressing that they're doing that. Because the, the thing is, I, I love the, uh, I honestly do love the storyline and the characters. Um, some of the new power armor and weapons are really cool. Uh, the area is decent. It reminds me, honestly, a lot of the Boston area in some places, as like in Fallout 4. Um, that was from a long time ago. It's still popping up. Public teams available. Why am I encumbered? Oh, because I'm wearing the stealth suit. Well, we don't need food anymore. I'll have my stupid thing out. Now I gotta get back into uh, everything. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, they have bows and everything. How good anyone away? This Use toilet paper. Hey, buddy. Oh. How did that miss? Oh, I'm out of bows. Um. Oh, yeah, where is my gosh pistol? This awesome thing right here. Arrows. But let's see. We'll go ahead. Oh yeah, I forgot I had like 
<laughs> all these power chests because I wanted all the power. Uh, that's hilarious. But I don't need any more water. Well, shoot, what's that kid was right? Do we have any pure fire? Uh, let's see about. Oh, that's it. I must have got rid of a lot of stuff. I don't need any more food perks either. I will keep the quantums. Uh, and I'll drop most of my purified water. I'll keep a little bit of it. Let's see. How many? I don't remember which one this is. Okay, this is the excavator one. The one. I think that I've been using. The, oh, the prototype, that's right. But we're still missing a right leg and a right arm. The 45. Actually, what the hell? We got 45 left arm and torso. Which I have here. These are level 45s. Level 45s. I can just break these down then. Okay. The Raider Power Armor. Which is the worst looking of them all. I mean, of course it would be, it's Raiders. There we go, the XO1. Love the XO1. The Ultra Sights. I was going T60. It's crazy to think how many power armors they actually have. And T51, okay. So I think I wanted to get in. Oh no, this one provides the extra carry weight. Does a senior discount after the war, you know? I don't get I don't wanna get out of my way, you jackass. Oh, there's nothing up here anyway. I forgot. Where are the others? How full is this? Okay, it's not too full yet. Smelly surprise around every corner. <laughs> there's a smelly surprise around every corner. Actually, let me get rid of Gotta get out of this to do stuff. Not sure why I had those, to be honest. Uh, how many fusion points? I only have five. 
Mm. Respect isn't that hard to come by. It's hard to back. Oh yeah, I need to break that down. Oh, uh, I think I was going to put some of these in the, um, that thing. No, oh, because we had some of them in there? Shouldn't they have transferred back into us, though? That got rid of a ton of weight, though, so... Aid... Put all the quantum in there, I think. Oh yeah, sorry, I can't put that in there. Oopsie. Oh, we have a lot of fusion cores, okay. Get out of here and actually walk around, I think. Alright, now what weight are we at? Alright, we still got some weight. Or John, or that drunk. Perforating magazine. Okay, and let's go ahead. Just I need to see what I got. I got the bow, which I only have two arrows for. One crown mine. Got 32 balls. This one does 201 damage plus 30% to super mutants. Ah, uh, the gauze pistol plus 30% damage to super mutants does 152. Lever action rifle, 141, and I have 185, a couple plasma grenades, and the gauze rifle. Alright, and we can... How do we do it? Collect and start. Table of water. I should write about it. Might as well put the shelters one in here as well. I wish that didn't uh, stick out like that. There we go. What is this thing? Oh. This is the Appalachian Shelters Claim Center today. The home of the future awaits. Do not worry, Jangles. I Ooh, and let's go... Oh, I forgot to jump. It's a triangle. We can probably unload a little bit of weight right here as well. Okay, so the black powder pistol. Now we do have the dragon, so 
we, we don't really need this. Because what does the dragon do? Whoops. I thought we did. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, dragon does. Yeah, it does almost 400 damage. So I really don't need this one. That's good to use because it's a pretty good fire rate, even though the damage is kind of low. Two shot light machine gun. Plus 50% limb damage, faster movement speed while aiming, shoots an additional projectile. The damage is only 59, <clears throat> but an additional projectile means it should be 118. Um, and it uses a really, really cheap ammo. The vampire suppresses a submachine gun, gain brief health regeneration when hitting an enemy, um, but only does 30 damage, and he uses 45. And we have 158 of that, so we could, if we wanted to, um, um, go to the purveyor. Oops. No, I don't want to do that one. Let's go to the Brotherhood of Steel welcome broadcast. Attention people of Appalachia. This is Paladin Romani of the Brotherhood of Steel, broadcasting from Fort Atlas. You are no longer facing the wasteland alone. The Brotherhood has returned. Our mission is to help you lead a better, safer life, free from the dangers left behind in the wake of the Great War. Require aid, or if you wish to join us in our mission, Live. find us at That's... Fort Atlas. Yeah, dang it. That's where A we new dawn wrong. is here for Appalachia. Join us in building the future. Romani out. All right, there we go. And I'm taking this dude's thing out because he's very annoying. I liked, um... I hit the jackpot two square inches oh, oh. of intact aluminum foil. Allies, there we go. Okay, you can... It's a stand right in the fire. Um, I didn't mind her, so. There. Alright, go to Fort Alice, but first, um... Let's see. Fort Atlas. Oh. What is this? Public team leader, uh, okay, I don't care. Um, public team leader. Oh, just show me that, I don't care. Talk to Roxy, talk to Ren, curator. Oh, is this? It's Prickett's Fort. Crater. These are, that's right, those are dailies. Okay, so here's Atlas. A free fast travel, but where is Welcome back, Flop. Is that the shelter's claim so center down old, there? It is crumbling into powder. Did I win the lottery?
I'd like to do the Shelter's Claim Center first. Just because I know it's a short thing. Where the hell is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I think 76. Yeah, that's the fastest one. We'll go down there. And I'll see how many caps I have to uh, fast travel. I heard uh, Steel Dawn was going to be, or was supposed to be like a two-parter. So the uh, first part of it is kind of short. It's less than like five hours, I think. <clears throat> Unless you do literally everything. But I don't do daily quests and stuff like that. Uh, how many caps do I got? 6,000. <sighs> I kind of like to keep it, and you know what, this will give me a chance to kind of get back into it. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Look at this thing, they have the new legendary perks and stuff. Oh yeah, and we don't need... Good doggy, we don't need that anymore. Do I even need chem bean? Oh, uh, these are all while you're camp or workshop. Man, endurance is all food and water. Because we get natural resistance. Oh, we can scrap. Yes, homebody. I mean, there's not really. Nah, we'll go with the campaign or whatever. Scrap this car for two perk coins. Stores health and hunger. I'll keep. Cannibal, maybe, just because it restores health, and it, I still don't have to, um, be carrying any food or drink around with it. Again, I don't really know what all this is doing, but, uh, Iron Fist, I don't punch. I am not a melee build. We have one traveling pharmacy, don't we? Reduced by 30%. Yeah. But, don't need Butcher's Bounty. I don't play, oh that's EMT, with people. Your luck is increased by two while under the influence of alcohol. I don't really...
let's see, we don't have all of anything, so... how this would be useful, for me anyway. Intelligence is what we're really using the most. Bloody mass, starch genes, never mutate from rads. Okay. Slight chance your equipped armor will repair itself when struck. We wear power armor. So it's like... Okay. Legendary perks. What is this? Requires level 100 character to unlock a new slot. Okay. So, oh wow. What is this? Cat plus one ender, oh, plus one perception and plus one perception per points. Per points cap at 15. So, so, oh, so we could get another strength, even though, see, we couldn't get an intelligence, could we? Even though that's really what I would want. Intelligence and strength. Hmm. Or I could get this one. And get, have all my pick locks in here, just so I don't have to keep swapping stuff out. Hmm. I can get another uh, gun, the gunslinger on there. Oh no, I would need two though. So I can get a perception. I don't think I really need this one right now. I can get a perception. And get lock that pick lock so I don't have to swap stuff out. Because I have expert, I have master, but I need the first one. Then we can look at these, I guess. Produce 50% more rounds when crafting ammunition. That's not bad. Uh, teammates. One combat enhancing chem every hour. What? Enemies killed with a melee weapon. Enemies killed with a thrown explosive. Chance an enemy energy attacks to recharge your power armor's fusion core. That's pretty cool. While unarmed, enemies kill with a ranged weapon, 10% chance to explode. What does exploding do? Is that like an area of effect thing? Range sneak damage increases the damage to target by 10% for 10 seconds. That's not very bad. That's not too bad. Matching set of armor. 20% chance for melee vast attack to do area damage. Auto unlock skill, zero terminals, and locks. And locks. Plus three lock picking and hack. Ooh. Auto unlock skill, zero terminals, and locks. 
terminals and locks. Plus three lockpick and hacking skills. I like that one. 50% chance to auto-revive with full health if you're downed in power armor. Now downed. When I'm downed, I die because I'm not with a team. While in power armor, sprinting consumes 20% fewer action points. Blocking a melee attack restores 1 HP and 1 AP. Plus 50% fire damage resist when wearing a matching set of armor. Generate one survival aiding chem every 30 minutes. Enemies take 10% more damage when they attack you if you are on a team. Nope. Rad resistance restore one rad per second. And then we got these, so I think, let me go with this one. And then we can rank it up. So, rank two. Auto unlock skill one terminals and locks. That cost 50 coins. This is pretty cool. Auto unlock skill two terminals. And locks. Hmm. So what do we have? We have 68. Let's get, because what was it? Perception? Yes, yeah, perception I wanted, I think. No, because now we don't need that lockpick. I don't know if I'm doing these right. But I don't care. Let's do it. Auto unlock skill two terminals and lock picks. Wait, why can't I confirm? Oh, we need a hundred. Okay. See, so yeah, let's do the perception. Plus two perception. Oh. Okay, so now... Okay. That's pretty cool. What are two concentrated fires? Uh, focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot. Now, do I need this? At all. I shouldn't, right? I shouldn't even need, um, expert. But I guess we'll see. So anything that I know I'll never use. Like, I have a traveling pharmacy already, don't need it. I don't use armor, I use power armor. I've been using a full, a level 2 full charge now. Again, I don't see why I'd need that. See if I have any doubles of these. Yeah, I don't need this one. I have two at level two of that one. Falling both twenty automatically the stim pack once every twenty seconds. See, that one's not too bad. I 
don't think I need goat legs. damage and energy resistance while sprinting. No power armor. Uh, no, if that's really... I have two of these. But I only have one pistol, so... And unless I'm making ammo, I don't need this on, so we'll put Gunslinger on. And so now my, whoops. Does 172, I think before it did 140 something, so. And now how many, about uh, 48. He's got the back. That didn't kill it. I was level 50. Another thing that they did was the one wasteland, which is things will scale to you, um, and you shouldn't go into an area, like I'm only level, um, what level am I? Shit, I don't even know. I'm only level 76, not level 76. Um, so nothing should go over 76, I don't think, unless I'm in a blast zone or something like that. I'm not sure. And then, oh, shit. Okay, that's how I do it. Now I gotta remember I'm not in my power armor. I guess that's somebody's not fully built camp. And they're trying to build it up mostly out of glass. That's, no, that's pretty cool. Pretty sure doing the Brotherhood of Steel, man. The pop in texture is not great. Um, you you'll get the two or three new weapons. I know one's like a rocket launcher. Uh, one is a melee weapon. I think it's called plasma cutter. I'm not sh and I'm not sure. I think there's a third, but I, I have no idea. So that means in my camp I can get rid of all the food stuff there.
because I don't know. I should have a buff right now. Yeah. So max HP plus 25, disease resistance plus 25% for well fed, and then hydrated is AP regen is 15% and disease resistance. Okay, so it's kind of worth it to eat and drink, but it's not. It's not required anymore. It's not going to be incredibly. What the heck? Like incredibly crazy to do it. That blast radius board game. Not a hundred percent sure if I need all this stuff anymore. halfway there. And I think uh, once the the Steel Dawn quest line is done, um, I'll go to the purveyor and see if I can't get something good. Because I don't know if you can get legendaries from the new weapons that they are going to give us, but um, I don't want it to be like you have to have had those weapons before in order to get the legendary version for it. So. <sighs> Got some blood eagles, all level 50. I miss. <laughs> ah, stop moving, birds. I forgot I'm in the Chinese stealth armor. You son of a bitch. I'm horrible right now. I haven't played in so long. Fusion cell, I don't think we need it. Forty-four. No, we're using believe it when someone says it's a quick Five. job. Only quick jobs are when you kill first and ask questions later. And that ain't next way. I don't know where the hell you guys showed up. Oh, liver action rifle. You guys see the bodies anywhere? Here. 308. Taking the weapons that I still need mods for.
There it is. The hell is the green? Oh, <laughs> dead blood line. And the only other thing, like, so far the most handy perk cards seem like they're gonna be the ones that just allow you to do things faster or easier, like the lockpick ones. Um, I think sadly that's probably what a lot of people are gonna use it for because most people that play this game I've noticed are like level one to three hundred or some shit. So they have insane weapons, so they're not gonna need like extra damage versus electronics. That kind of shit. And the people who would need that kind of thing don't have enough or haven't leveled up enough to use it properly. Or allow um, to level up a card like that properly. Like me. You know, I'm only level 76 and I can only scrap enough cards to get three levels. Not even that. And it's only three levels if, uh, if I go to different ones. and Vault 51 was the um, Battle Royale vault. Apparently I need a plastic. Here was the vault, I guess. Alright, shelter's claim center. Let's start at home expansion. Welcome to the shelter's claim center. Claim your shelter now to expand your home. Foosball table with nothing but uh, ball boys. I, I do really like foosball. It's pretty fun. Lever action. Hardened receiver. I feel like the one I have um, already does that. And nothing. Damn you. Actually, where's my lever? Right here. Yeah. I have no ammo for my shotgun. I was wondering. I could have said I had one. Cool. Why does it do that? The hell? that say high high voltage hefe I'll talk to you in a second buddy miscellaneous find the key mr. Gill's safe
Shelters claims in our terminal. Let's see what's in here. Shelter, shelters Information Hub. Welcome to the Shelters Information Hub. Select an option below to learn more. Basic information. Shelters are expansions from your camp that come ready to be customized. They are the perfect sanctuary for instructions, industrious architects, and those who want a little peace and quiet from the dangers of Appalachia. Whether you're interested in building gravity-defying structures with our relaxed workshop restrictions, decorating your new home with the finest furniture Appalachia has to offer, or rigging up maniacal mazes full of traps to stave off home invaders, Shelters has something for you. Building in Shelters Building in Shelters will feel a bit different than building in Appalachia. In order to give our customers total control over the shelters, we've chosen an alter to alter some workshop restrictions. You can take advantage of relaxed snapping and support restrictions to build mind-bending structures or discard gravity altogether and place items in midair. For those seeking a more traditional building experience, snapping rules can be enabled at any time in the workshop. Please note that some categories like food, water, allies, and resources are currently unavailable in shelters. Currently unavailable. So this was supposed to go live December 1st. It's now the 5th when I'm playing it. So shouldn't all this stuff have been available? Because it came, they accidentally released it early. So. Shelter entrances. When you register as a shelter owner, you'll receive your first shelter entrance. It can be placed in your camp and used to access your new home. Each shelter you own comes with an entrance. You can place multiple entrances to any of your shelters. Shelter entrances can be placed in your Appalachian camp or inside of other shelters to create a daisy chain effect. You can lock your shelter's entrances for privacy while building or leave them unlocked for visitors. Please note that locked shelters and shelter entrances can only be picked. The shelter's claim center accepts no responsibility for the theft of personal belongings. Socializing in shelters. We at the shelter's claim center understand your desire to entertain in your new home. Shelters have no maximum occupancy limit. Invite as many friends and neighbors as you'd like to pop in for a visit. They can even stop by while you're not you're out for a stroll in Appalachia. So long as you have a shelter entrance in your camp, visitors can enter it and explore. Shelters fully support team building, so you can collaborate with your teammates to construct the underground hideaway of your dreams. Dweller on Dweller Violence You can engage in combat with other dwellers while inside a shelter. If you attack someone inside a shelter and then return to Appalachia, you will retain your hostile status. The reverse is also true. If you attack someone in Appalachia and they retreat into a shelter, your hostile status will remain. In the unlikely event that you are killed inside a shelter, your belongings will be returned to you. Disclaimer. The Shelters Claim Center accepts no responsibility for damages to property or personal injuries incurred while inside a shelter. Find your friends. We believe that teamwork is the key to success in Appalachia. We've made it easy to locate your teammates, shelters, so you'll always know where to find them. Simply open your map, and if your teammate has have unlocked shelter entrances in their camp, you'll be they'll be visible to you. If you wish to join a teammate in their shelter, you'll need to travel to their camp first, then access their shelter via its entrance. Exiting a shelter. We're sorry to see you go, but if you have business to attend to in Appalachia, you can use your shelter's built-in exit to return to the surface. If you get stuck inside your shelter or another dweller's, you can always exit using your map. Travel expenses incurred will be identical to the amounts you pay to travel from your camp from the camp you started into your intended dis destination in Appalachia. Communication logs. Network interference detected. The Vault 51 internal network is unavailable. Okay, so because of Zach's test 2, can you hear me now? Network unreachable. Test 1, can you hear me in there? Moving on. We can't stay here, it's getting bitterly cold and we've been having bad luck finding food. This will be my last message on the Claim Center Network. If you see this, come find us. Our names are Jameson Grillo and Aaron Brady. We're going to follow the Potomac south, hopefully towards a warmer climate. 
I feel bad about leaving Mr. Clark, but he refuses to desert his post. I hope the poor guy won't turn into rust, waiting for customers who aren't coming. See you out there, Jameson. Trying again. Our bot says the network's still operational, but it's been radio silent since last month. Appalachia's toast. We haven't seen any signs of life in weeks. I'm not sure how much longer we can hang on here. We tried to find a way into Vault 51, but it's locked up tight. Even its communications network is inaccessible from outside. I still haven't heard from my family. At this point, I guess it's pretty obvious why not. If anyone's out there, I hope you've had better luck, Jameson. Anyone out there? Is anyone out there? Anyone left on the network? This is Jameson at the Appalachian Claim Center. Something crazy happened here. Some kind of attack. I can't get in touch with my family or any of the office landlines. Please tell me someone's out there to get this. Me and another engineer are down here with our claim center's bot. We're going to stay inside as long as we can, at least until the phones are up and running again. Hopefully this will be this will all blow over soon. Sales pitch. Jameson, now that the system's functional, we need to iron out our sales pitch. Marketing likes shelters, the home of the future. We're having posters made to advertise, make sure Harold's bot learns the phrase too, since it'll be interacting with customers. A couple of guys from management will be making the trek out there to see the claim center soon. Just hang tight for now and make sure the bot's keeping the place clean. Talk soon, Sawyer. Ruben's notes, password required. Okay, so we have another thing is finding the key. Talk to Mr. Clark. Oh, a visitor! Oh, I thought this day would never come. I haven't had a visitor in ages. Welcome to the Appalachian Shelters Claim Center, visitor. I'm called Mr. Clark. It's my job to help eager new customers such as yourself take your first step into the miraculous world of shelters. Oh. Cursory analysis suggests you are likely here to. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Forgive my tone. I'm experiencing some memory issues. <clears throat> As I was saying, a bright-eyed visitor like yourself must be here to claim your free shelter today. Is that right? Yes. I have a few questions first, though. Naturally. Not to worry, visitor. I'm equipped to answer most basic questions from my customers. How can I help you today? What are shelters? Shelters are expansions for your home. Each shelter is a unique interior that comes ready to be built in and decorated by its owner. You said you're experiencing memory issues? Yes, unfortunately so. My network was recently used to... <coughs> ah, it seems I can't exactly remember what caused it. <laughs> but rest assured, candidate <coughs> visitor, memory issues notwithstanding, I'm eager to help usher you into the world of shelters. What are you doing here? I was programmed to distribute shelters from this claim center, and I intend to do just that. I've been waiting for a customer like yourself for ages. The apocalypse did put a bit of a damper on my sales projections, but with your arrival, it seems my troubles are over. Do you know anything about the vault outside? That's Vault 51. I don't know much about it, I'm afraid. The vault was sealed along with the others in Appalachia. But only one person ever emerged. His name was Mr. Gill. He lived here for a while, observing Vault 51. Something inside interested him. I believe he was investigating... I'm sorry. Most of my memories regarding Vault 51 are corrupted. I think Mr. Gill kept notes on the Claim Center terminal, if you'd like to know more. Other people have been here? A few, over the years. Two of the scientists who were working on the shelters project before the war used this claim center to hide from the bombs. They left, in search of greener pastures once the blasts were over, and I never saw them again. The claim center was empty for a long time after that. Uh, Mr. Gill is the only other person who's ever been inside, aside from yourself, of course. <sighs> ah, such a shame. So much good marketing gone to waste.
That's all I need to know about this. Then on to more pleasant business, visitor. Are you interested in registering as a shelter owner and claiming your free shelter today? Yes, I'd like to claim my free shelter. Splendid! Oh, before I can distribute your shelter to you, you'll need to register as a shelter owner. The terminal in the back will guide you through it. Once you've finished registering, return to me and I'll distribute your free shelter to you. Registration system. Register new owner. It looks like you've successfully registered as a shelter owner. Congratulations, visitor. A marvelous new world of home expansion awaits. I'll distribute your free shelter to you, along with some materials to build your shelter's entrance, as a personal thank you for being my customer. Before we part ways, visitor, is there anything else I can help you with? Um, let's see. Do you know the password to access Mr. Gale's notes on the terminal? I'm afraid not. Mr. Gill was quite paranoid about things like that. He kept his effects in a locked safe and always carried the key on him. If he wrote down the password, he likely locked it in there. Uh, tell me more about shelters. Do Gladly. We really need to know? <clears throat> shelters are the homes of the future, perfect for post-apocalyptic living. Each shelter is a unique interior, ready to be decorated. All shelters come equipped with workshop functionality to allow you to create the home of your dreams and escape from the dangers of Appalachia. Shelters are accessible via entrances, like the one I just distributed to you. Is there yes. anything else I can... Uh, tell me more about the free shelter. Certainly. Your free shelter is a complimentary expansion for your home, modeled after the very claim center we're standing in. It comes equipped with workshop functionality, so you can get started building and decorating right away. Simply place the shelter entrance you claim today in your camp and prepare to enter a bright new world of home expansion and customization. There's nothing else I need. Then allow me to extend a warm Shelters Claim Center farewell to you, along with my thanks for being my first customer. Enjoy your new home, visitor. Okay. So let's see what we got. Steel, concrete, vault utility room, shelter, vault power bank, and vault stairs. Okay. So we're gonna need to find a key for that. I wonder, oh, this is the... Oh, hidden. The trophy for winning the Battle Royale. Now that we get, um. Oh, did not mean to drink that. Now that we get kind of busts and stuff from this, might as well eat it when we find it, I guess. What the hell is that? Nothing. Rad ant logger. Definitely. Oh, become addicted to. Oh shit. Whoopsie. Well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have addicto. Cures all addictions. Uh, let's see. Yeah, minus is something. It's taking our intelligence down with the alcohol. I don't know what the thing does though, so. Yeah. We don't get addicted much. Okay, so.
Alright, so I think this one right here is the Steel Dawn. Does this find the key? Honey. That's a dude. Ah, yes. So we can get a free Vault 76 travel. We'll go ahead and see if we can find the key and finish off the shelters before we uh, do any of the Steel Dawn things. Got a lever action, night vision, of course. Hey, fellas, you guys still standing there? That is something that's a little too... too bad about, uh... It being like the live service and online, so the yeah, people don't ever move and it would be really difficult to, for them to still scrap to really make it feel like it's lived in and people aren't just like static. You know, just staying in one place constantly. Which, because it's a live service, and if anything changes for you, it changes for everybody else. It is. Somebody shooting something. Some weird graphical things going on with me. Ghoul's note. Did we read these before? Mr. and Ms. Braxton, my name is William Keller. I present to... I represent a group of brave men and women whom you may wish to meet. In the years since our new lives began, many of us began to lose things we once took for granted. Our skin, a face, an old voice. Most painfully, each of us have lived to see our friends and loved ones die around us. It's been 20 years. No one should have to suffer in loneliness and fear. You are not alone. Goals note 2. If you are interested in meeting a group of your neighbors has gathered to the east, we've been contacted by a larger community like ours living in the capital. Apparently the city was hit hard, but they say society is beginning to grow there. We are considering joining them. WK. Huh. I know we found this place before, but... Huh. The body and everything must be... new. Auto unlock. And we still get experience. Huh? Ruben safety checklist. Distract him. Stash the rest of the supplies. Jump in the other crate. Pray to God I survive. Find another one. Another one. Any find anyone from 76. Kill Zax. Well, he didn't kill Zax. Shelter building supplies. Need more materials to keep building in the shelter. Wood, steel, screws. He didn't get gears and any copper. Okay. 
Okay, so now... We can go ahead and head back... To Vault 51. Ah, fitting caps. Whatever. This should be one of the only times we have to spend caps to fast travel. During the Steel Dawn update, I think. Because Atlas is a free travel. Um, our camp is a free travel. So. I didn't really need the pump patch next the auto shotgun that I have. Got the password. Terminal Helen. Poly pin. Didn't really need anything else in there. Ruben's notes. Log entry one. Well, here I am. I've only been out of that damn vault a week, and I'm already back at its front door. It gives me the creeps knowing it's right there, but if I'm going to get back in, it'll pay off to have a base this close. I thought this was some kind of vault tech control center for watching SM51. Joke's on me, I guess. It's some kind of dumb real estate project with the world's most annoying marketing bot running it. Just my luck to get stuck with another stupid robot. No that this terminal is working again, I guess I'm out of excuses to put off trying to reach the 51 network. Here goes nothing. Entry 2. Turns out the 51 network's protected with a crazy firewall that I can't get past. I guess that's probably to be expected. Still, I think going through the network is my best shot at getting back in. I know from experience that there's no way out through the walls. All I can do is keep trying. I think the marketing bot might be helpful. Maybe I can use its internal network to contact 51. I gotta get this done quick, then move the hell on. I'm having trouble sleeping, knowing that 51's right outside. It makes me think too much. Entry 3. I sat outside and watched Vault 51 for a long time today. Hours, I guess. Time doesn't mean much these days. It looks surprisingly peaceful from out here. Almost beautiful. All my hacking attempts have been unsuccessful so far, though 51 network's locked up tight. It makes me wonder if any of the messages we sent from inside ever actually made it out. I finally gathered enough supplies that I can start doing real work on the terminal. Mr. Clark got all up in arms about me tampering with the confidential network, but he can't stop me. I just want to end this. Entry 4. Well, it worked. I got in the 51 network a few days ago. I wish I felt relieved, but the message I got back made me nervous. It was all automated. I haven't slept since. It wasn't all automated. I haven't slept since. Entry 5. Mr. Clark has been complaining of memory issues since I got that message from the 51 network. His speech patterns keep changing, too. I thought it was just his hardware starting to go, but then he called me Mr. Candidate instead of Mr. Gill. I feel like Zax is in here with me. It's like 51 all over again. Maybe this whole thing was a mistake. I need a damn drink. The house is near here are picked clean, but maybe I can find something in the way of the towns. I need more building supplies anyway. I could use a couple turrets in here or something, just in case. It's an excuse to get out of 51's shadow, if nothing else. Okay. Interesting. Now, unfortunately, I, uh... couldn't get much of 51's um, story or anything out because it's locked behind you leveling up in the battle royale mode which not only takes forever but you know of course with House of 76's loading and everything getting in and out of games is just a hassle so unfortunately I won't know that unless I actually just look it up
Okay. So I can scrap this. And scrap this. And the reason I'm doing this is just so I can put more stuff in here. Um, since I don't need food and water, I can scrap all this damn food. Because food is easy enough to get um, just out there. I can just eat whatever. Um, I'll keep the purified water. Just so that, just because that's not like an insanely common thing. One man junk is a electron paradise. Sure. Okay, let's go ahead. And where this would that be? These mountains is the next best thing to space. Oh, so we got the... Okay, the vault stairs or whatever. I guess that's what we got from there. So we got some. What is this? There is a smelly surprise around every Jesus. corner. A super reactor. Find plans. What the hell are the plans for that? <laughs> like, what the hell is this? There must be oh, shelters right here. Jump around here. Okay, so you can actually get a vault door from the atomic shop, of course. Uh, I don't know, we'll just put it right in the middle of the, uh, the lights. You have disabled passive mode. PV, PvP interactions and PvP related death may occur in such times. I don't fight people anyway. I try not to that one time. What the hell? When I was trying to do the. Um. Sheep Squatch mission, I accidentally, I guess, shot somebody while shooting him. There were literally like 10 enemies around. Accidentally shot him, and all of a sudden he just kills me. It's like, fucking asshole. Some building rules have been removed in shelters so you can build more freely. Okay. So, to target workshop objects, snapping rules. Plus square while in workshop mode. Alright. So the shelters basically gave them a way to give us uh, more area to build in. Which is cool, that's what, uh, you know, a lot of people, including myself, have wanted, but, you know, I wanted, uh more of an outside area. But I'm not very creative in that aspect anyway, so... It don't really matter. Uh, be being able to not require food and water honestly is a huge step for me because it's annoying. You know, if I want to play the survival part of it, you should be able, like, you know, number three 
New Vegas and 4 and just turn on uh, survival mode. But I don't like um I don't like survival games. shooting out there. Right. Oh, they, so they're all shooting that box? Right there? Do we need to repair anything real quick? Yeah, the shotgun. And the dragon. Everything else is pretty much okay. How do I have more ju more junk than I'm able to? It says I have eight of three in here. Oh yeah, uh, a couple of these. The fixer. Improve stealth, faster sneaking movement speed. What is so the one that I have? It is crumbling into powder. Did I win the lottery? It only does nine more damage, plus it damage resistance while aiming if not in combat. Plus hundred percent advanced accuracy at plus percent AP cost. Advanced critical shots do uh oh. No, this one's better. Probably I'm thinking of most of my peril. Oh, it's because I got all this stupid food in here. Not that. Or John, or that John. Balls do I have? 32. Whoops. I guess I could just eat it. Well, not literally. Okay. So, now, welcome to the neighborhood. Go to Fort Atlas. Oh, actually, remember I got a, uh, Mod for one I believe it was this one. No, not this one. Yeah. 
the receiver. I got a severe. No lag and store. No, nah, only turn five. Unfortunate. Alright, let's head to Fort Atlas. There's a dude there that's two level two hundred and sixty-nine. And then another thing they added was that seasons thing. Um with the game board or whatever the hell it is. I don't know. Whenever I level up I'll see what that is. Cause I got halfway there doing the shelters thing, I guess. Forging trust. Meet the returned brotherhood. Okay. Let's speak to Russell Dorsey. But first, I must take their stuff. Welcome to Fort Atlas. Oh, hey, Russell. Hello, Russell Dorsey. Brotherhood Initiate. Welcome to Fort Atlas. Let's see. We'll go with what's your story. Me? Oh, I'm just a guy who wanted to be a part of something special. A place to do something that really mattered. I picked up the messages the Brotherhood were broadcasting on the way here. And I came out ahead to help set up the place. Hoping they'd let me join. They liked my initiative, and now I'm an initiate. Nice bit of symmetry, I thought. Okay. What's going on here? Well, this is Fort Atlas, new headquarters of the Brotherhood of Steel in Appalachia. The Brotherhood's in the process of getting everything in order here, but already people from all over Appalachia are turning up. Some need help, some want to join, but it seems like everybody's curious what comes next. I just say what Paladin Romani says. We're here to help. Fort Atlas? Formerly the Atlas Observatory. Now headquarters for the Brotherhood of Steel. I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood. Of course. What'd you want to know? How many of the Brotherhood are here? Pretty sure that's strategic information I'm not supposed to just give out to anybody that asks. <laughs> What's it like being an initiate? Oh, it's an honor. I, I know that sounds like some recruiting poster nonsense, but really, it is. I finally feel like I'm part of something meaningful. Building a better world alongside other people who've committed their lives to that cause. Sure, sometimes it means doing guard shifts in the rain, but hey, small price to pay for real purpose, right? What can you tell me about the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood of Steel is a... Well, I guess you'd call it a military organization. Founded originally out in California around when the bombs fell. We're dedicated to rebuilding society and preserving old technology. Keeping the mistakes of the past from being repeated, you know? One of the members from California could tell you more, I'm sure. I want to ask you something else. What do you need? I'd like to speak to somebody in charge. Uh, looking to sign up? Or just curious? Well, either way, I guess it's not me you want to talk to. Most of the fort's off limits to civilians, but if you're interested, Knight Shin's in charge of the new recruits. He's very serious about protocol and security, so you'll have to speak to him first if you want to get anywhere. Okay. Now, I used to work with the folks at Foundation. Hard workers, but I wanted something more than just settling. I gotcha. 
I'm going to join up and take on the wasteland. Raiders, the ghouls, anything tries to attack, we'll be ready. Brotherhood initiate. The fight is just beginning. Stay disciplined. Protect and serve. I'll haul a thousand boxes or fill a thousand crates. That's what it takes. Brotherhood, so we got Brotherhood Hopeful and Initiate. I wish you were fit to be a scribe when I'm put on patrol day and night. Never forget the heroes of Fort Defiance. You guys don't mind if I take a screwdriver, do you? Oh, we got a... Uh, okay. So if we need to, we have our stash box and our, most of the workbenches. Three of the workbenches, anyway. In a cooking station. Ford Atlas is in good hands. Actions trained as well. Looks like you are. Those old army ranks are meaningless. The Brotherhood is a new world order. Hot dog. Okay. Word is, the Brotherhood needs new soldiers. I hear you don't need surgical trays. Uh, I'll just take them off your hands. Sounds like the start of a real force in the wasteland. Not sure if I should be thrilled or terrified. Eh, both. Those old army ranks are meaningless. The Brotherhood is a new world order. <sighs> Makes sense now. This is my place. My mission. Man, this thing goes all the way up. To cut ourselves free from America to rebuild America. Take the old and forge it anew. We're all links in the chain. Bound. Maybe I should join up. I can do it. Yeah, that's everything around it, I guess. Let's go ahead and head in. Meet uh, Night Shin. real duties to attend to. The outer perimeter is still unsecured, the provisions aren't properly stowed, and we're awash in hopefuls. I have no time to be babysitting civilians. Your duties are what I say they are, Knight. Your objections are noted, but this is a direct order from your commanding officer. Help us put on a good face for the local people. We've just moved into their backyard. They're nervous. Show them we mean no harm. If you insist, Paladin. If there's nothing further, I'll have the completed report on your desk shortly. I expect nothing less from you. As you were, Shin. Paladin. Okay. What about you, Sean Hawkman? Not now. Not until these Brotherhood jerks listen to me. Not now. Okay. Not until these Brotherhood jerks listen to me. We'll make Atlas stronger than Fort You had better have a reason was. for being here. Stay on your toes. The wasteland is merciless. We're here to take your shit. Military grade, Alright, Night Shin. 
If you're here with a request for the Brotherhood, get in line. I don't have time for you right now. Let's see. Also, so Dorothy sent me to talk to you. Did he? Initiate Dorsey is supposed to be manning his post at the entrance, not acting as my secretary. Dorsey thought I might be able to help out. Hmm. Initiate Dorsey is too trusting, but I can't fault his commitment. Perhaps he sees something in you worth our interest. Are you another aspirant to our order? Well, we have Charisma 4. I can think of no greater honor than to join your noble brotherhood. If you mean that, then you are right. But if that's sarcasm, I recommend you stow it. Immediately. Normally, I might stick you with the other hopefuls until we decide whether you're worthy. But, if you're serious about joining us, you've got good timing. There's something you could do for me that would help the Order and demonstrate your qualities as a candidate. We've had a number of civilians show up here at Fort Atlas, asking for one thing or another from the Brotherhood. People are afraid, or want something, or are looking to involve us in local squabbles. Civilian outreach is not my specialty. There's too much left to do to secure this facility. If you're really interested in helping, save my time. Interview the petitioners, find out what they want, and report back to me. Sure, I can do that. I have my eye. I have some questions first. My patience is finite, outsider. Yeah, I don't care. You seem pretty tightly wound. Do you ever unclench? I am not known by my initiates for tolerating foolishness, outsider. Persist in that tone and you will learn how much less I tolerate it from civilians. Oh yeah, bring it on. What would it mean to join the Brotherhood? If we accept you as an initiate, and that is far from certain, you would be pledging yourself to our order and our cause. Our order exists to locate, secure, and protect dangerous technologies. Humanity cannot be trusted with the means to destroy itself. We will not allow another apocalypse. What are the Brotherhood doing here? The specifics of our mission are not for discussion with civilians. We're here under orders from Elder Maxon. Stay out of our way, and we won't have any problems. Think I'm ready to take on that job? Don't just think. Make a decision. Talk to the petitioners, find out what they want, report it to me. Is that clear? Is there another member of the Brotherhood I can speak to? to no. The chain that binds dictates a strict hierarchy of command. And, as the only knight present, the initiates are directly under me. Unless I say so, your contact with the Brotherhood stops here. Sure, I can do that. Do this right. Don't make me regret giving you the opportunity. Conduct yourself properly, and we can consider putting you forward as an initiate candidate. Seem kind of like an asshole. Do not action. attempt to access the secure parts of this facility, civilian. We are watching you. What if I do? Let's see what's down here. Speak to the petitioners. Oh, they have to go down here anyway. But first... Whoops. Military grade hardware. That's the one from California. That door is locked. Sorry guys, but I need these things. I don't feel like taking all these cool hey. balls. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, glue. Alright. You looking at something? Huh? Yeah, you. Tally Lang. Hey! Yeah, you. Who do I need to talk to around here? You know, about the guns? Yeah. You don't look like one of these brotherhood yahoos. Name's Tally Lang. What's your deal? Well, I can tell you, uh, got that southern accent going on. Back to the farm soon. Wait, who are you? I just told you, dummy. Tally Lang. Just, uh, 
Another chick trying to make it in the wasteland, you know? Something I can do for you. Go away, old man. Guns, you seem a little anxious. Uh, who, me? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Cool as a cryo grenade, me. Definitely. Night Shin sent me to speak to you. Shin? He the scary guy with the stick up his butt? Alright, shoot. Let's see, what's your story, Tally? Oh, I'm, I'm just a poor country girl, you know? Parents died ages ago, so it's just me and a few friends trying to make our way in the world. It's pretty scary out there. We're just a bunch of orphans helping each other out. We're practically just kids. We had to grow up on our own. We'd sure feel a lot safer with some of those high-tech guns these Brotherhood have to scare off all the maniacs out there. Tally, you're not a raider, are you? What? Me? A raider? No, 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 no. A little old me? Don't be silly. So I take it guns is what you're after? Yeah, that's right. Big shiny guns. Now all the talk in the area is about these Brotherhood folks with their high-tech toys, and I thought, Tally, you gotta get some of that. For self-defense, of course. Uh, just so me and, and some of my poor, innocent friends can protect ourselves from all the nasty folks out there. Can't promise anything, but I'll tell Night Shin. I should go. I'll be sure to tell Night tell that to Night Shin. I wanted to ask you some other things first. Why not? Hit me. Be honest with me, Tally. Why do you want these guns? Hey, you calling me a liar? I'll I I mean I already told you. My friends and I just need them for self-defense. We'll pay good caps. I think we're done for now. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't want over me, Tally. Make it quick if you would. Uh, I'm only getting younger. Well, now look at you. You with these steel brother fellas. I've been waiting a good spell to talk to them. What is it to you? What is it you do, sir? Farming, such as it is. Got a patch ain't barely more than skull, <laughs> but it's mine, and I manage. You've been waiting long? Longer than I prefer. These steel types ain't half disorganized right now, it looks like. Heard the news about these fellas and reckoned I'd better go see him. Ain't the only one neither, I see. Sort of, Night Shin asked me to speak with you. Well, it's about time. I'd like to die of old age waiting on him. Name's Art Knapp. So, what's this? Night fella sent you for. I was asked to find out what you wanted from the Brotherhood. But first, tell me about yourself. Ain't much to tell. Been a farmer one way or another. All my life. A daddy before me and so on. Set Get up in these parts after I heard it was safe again. Turned out, there's plenty of raiders fixing to take what ain't nailed down. Ain't much use belly aching about it, but neither am I just gonna roll over and let some bullies take what's mine. Isn't your farm in danger with you away? Got seed in the ground right now. I ain't yet seen a raider willing to scrabble in the soil for seeds, so I reckon it'll get by till I'm back. Speak or go away. I do not know. A fair trade's what I want. I've heard stories about these steel types back in the day. <laughs> they was going around taking things from folks. For the cause, they said. Yeah, like that don't make them raiders too. Well, I ain't got much, and I already got to worry about raiders. So, I reckon it's better to make a deal up front. My farm don't produce much, but I got some extra, and I expect they'll have a use for it. In return, I want these steel boys and girls to keep raiders away from my farm. Heard a lot of noise they was on our side. So, seems fair. Okay. Yeah, that seems fair to me. I'll pass your offer to Night Shin. Well, I'm not going anywhere just yet. 
Shoot. When turning over your crops be just as bad as them being taken? Before they bond the daylight out of everything, folks used to pay taxes in exchange for the government doing what it was supposed to do. Raiders will just take everything. This is a trade. Fair is fair, and a deal's a deal. I ain't care for people poking their noses into my business, but if a bushel or two to these brotherhood keeps the raiders away, I can live with it. Could be. I don't know what a is, but I should be getting back. To work, so get at it if you gotta. A gauss, my dear lady, is a really good weapon. A minor hat. Oh, cool. Uh, got to be getting back to the farm soon. Something I can do for you. Shut up, Art. This place goes sour and we're all in for it. Oh, my word. All right. This guy. <laughs> Look what the rad roach dragged in. Wait, did you and who else? No idea. But Dr. Blackburn. Did you wish to speak with me? Yeah. Oh, the other person's upstairs. Yes. Something I can help you with? I am waiting to speak with a Brotherhood representative. I have no interest in small talk with strangers. There's no need to be rude. Pardon my manners. I am out of practice. Too much time alone. Still, unless this is important, I would prefer to be left alone. This guy's interesting. I was going to speak to Night Shin for you, but if you want to be like that... No, he's not being rude. Actually, Night Shin asked me to speak with you. The severe gentleman in the power armor, yes. Dr. Edgar Blackburn at your service. And what did Night Shin want to know? Tell me more about yourself. I am sure you have more interesting things to do than listen to a poorly socialized wasteland doctor talk about himself. In short, I trained in multiple specialties before the war, and had a brief career as a research scientist prior to the bombs dropping. Finding myself fortunate enough to survive, I have continued my research, such as it is. Now I focus on the health of the people of Appalachia. Please do not ask me to examine any strange growths. I am not that kind of doctor. He asked me to find out what you wanted from the Brotherhood. I had heard that the Brotherhood possessed advanced technology. As a doctor and a scientist, this was of great interest. My research is always in need of equipment and materials rather difficult to obtain by scavenging and bartering. I came to see if an arrangement could be made, but from what I can see of their operations, they are as yet still in too much disarray. Given the state of my fellow supplicants, I would hypothesize that their needs likely outweigh my own. I'll mention that in my report. Very well. What did you wish to know? Can you tell me about your research? It would be difficult to express it in layman's terms. No offense intended. In essence, I have been studying the illnesses of Appalachia. For too long, people have relied on folk remedies and makeshift medicines. The long-term effects of this environment are concerning. Just because the radiation is survivable does not mean it is safe. Are you working with Foundation? Their hygiene standards are better than the lot at Crater, but no. I prefer to work in solitude. One day, perhaps, my research will be of benefit to them and all the other people of Appalachia. I think that's all. Very well, then. Perhaps we can be of assistance to one another, should our paths cross again. Sure. And the other dude's upstairs. Um... Where the hell was it? 
Oh, it's this dude. You better have something useful to say to me. Whoa, who are you? I don't even know you. What did I do? I just told you who I am. I already told them that when I got here. Nobody's listening in this place. I came here so that they can make things right. And they won't even listen to me. Actually, you never told me who you are. I know who you are because you have a name above you. I'm actually part of the Brotherhood. Don't take this out on me. What? Oh, hey. Sorry about that. You're right. Ain't, ain't right me blowing up on you like that. I I'm just really wound up, and none of these Brotherhood types are giving me the time of day. Oh. Can't even come to me himself? What, he needs to requisition some more armor polish? All right. All right. Keep it cool, Sean. So... What's he got to say to me? Would you tell me more about yourself? I'm a scavenger, mainly. Always been pretty good with a set of tools, so I do all right for myself, scrapping and fixing things. I trade what I find or fix with the folks at Foundation when I need something I can't get otherwise. Mostly, I like to be left alone. Tell me what problem, what the problem is. The problem? is that a couple of these Brotherhood clowns showed up and took a bunch of my stuff at gunpoint. Now, I'm a peaceful man. I really am. I sure wasn't equipped to deal with armed thugs requisitioning the little I've managed to put together for myself. Never understood the Raiders. I like the quiet life. I don't need much, and I need trouble less. But after this, oh, I get it. I came here to give the Brotherhood a chance to make things right. Else, maybe, I'd go to Crater and start doing things their way. At least they don't pretend to be the good guys. Gotcha. All right. What else did you want? Are you sure they were Brotherhood? Don't blow me off like I'm making this up. These people have a responsibility to fix this. They had the power armor, and they said they were Brotherhood. Sorry I didn't make sure to ask proof when they had me at gunpoint. Military grade, huh? Would you really become a raider because of this? Listen, I don't have much. But what's mine is mine. And these people took that from me. The Brotherhood pretends like they're noble, but then they let this happen? In their name? Raiders don't act like something they're not. And at least the gangs defend their own. Then tell them, and get them to do something about it. I really like uh, the way that voice actor did that one. I am a and link the, uh, chain other guy. that binds. Have you finished the task I gave you? I've spoken to the petitioners. I'm ready to report. Good. Let's get this done. I have the list from their arrival. Give me the high-level overview. Dr. Blackburn was looking for supplies for his research. The Brotherhood is not a charity, and our mission does not cover providing civilians with equipment to pursue their personal interests, unless the Doctor intends to provide that research to the Brotherhood exclusively, and under our supervision, he will get nothing. He actually said other people seem to need you more. That shows commendable discipline. Scribe Valdez may have interest if he returns, but if so, he is her problem. That appears to resolve the matter on our end. Next report. Artnat wants to trade a share of his crops for protection from raiders. We are not mercenaries here to serve as guards for anyone with some goods to trade in payment. It sounds like a fair deal, fair deal to me. That's irrelevant. The Brotherhood cannot simply be hired out to every farmer and homesteader. We have our own concerns. Enough about that. What's next? Tally Lane wants to buy guns from you. No. We are not arms dealers. She and her friends could really use the protection. Listen to me. The Brotherhood is not in the business of arming civilians. End of discussion. Moving on. Sean Hockman was robbed by people claiming to be Brotherhood. Impossible. Whatever happened, it was not us. Yeah, it was. What matters is he believes it. You should help him out. That sounds like something Paladin Romani would say. But what he believes is of no concern of ours. 
Our people did not rob this man. We are not involved, and it should remain that way. That's everything. Against my initial judgment, you have shown that you can take orders and make yourself useful for the Brotherhood. You need to lose those soft civilian instincts, but I will make note of your assistance in my report to Paladin Romani. Should you wish to join our ranks, I will not oppose your enlistment and grant you permission, provisionally, to enter the compound proper. Go to our scribe Valdez. You will need her support as well if you want Paladin Romani's attention. Are you really not going to help any of them? What I am going to do is make the recommendations I see fit in my report to Paladin Romani. As the commanding officer, the final decisions will be hers. And your concern in the matter ends here. Well, let's see. If he has any... Let me complete my report. If I do not have other pressing duties, then I will consent to your questions. Okay, another order? Orders and duty are the lifeblood of the Brotherhood. You are not yet one of us. Consider it a suggestion. Thanks, I'll do it. Be vigilant, outsider. We're here to protect the people. They'll learn that in time. This is a security office, not a social club. Activate the scout. for a Brotherhood Round Table. Mother of Inventions, the new quest. Explore the Alice Observatory with Scribe Valdez. This is the armory. Scribe Valdez is upstairs at the workshop. Okay. Let's see, we got a plan. There's Valdez. We'll take a look around here first. We're building something big here. Don't get left Just behind. Just real quick, because I'm guessing we'll be going. Oh, Night Connor's report. Starting recording. Night Alan Connors, Brotherhood of Steel. Ah, oh, one second. Let me toss another one on the fire. I'll do a status report later. This one's off the record. Odessa, Daniel, I'm about halfway through the night shift. And it's gotten me thinking. I know it's been tough on you two. Neither of you are quite the grizzled old timers that Layla and I are. I just want you both to know how proud I am. Not just to see you rise to the challenge, but to see you do it with such vigor and determination. For every bit of trouble this trip has been, it's only just started. But I hope you can enjoy calm nights like these, and take a moment to relax. Look, each of us have our reasons for being here, including Layla. You may not always see eye to eye, but know that she cares deeply for both of you. Daniel, I know you probably feel she cares too much, but that's just her way. Leading from the heart has always worked out for her in the past. <laughs> Trust me, man. I've been through the thick of it with her. In this journey ahead, we're going to need to rely on each other with unwavering support. The toughest trials have yet to come. But remember, we're more than a brotherhood now. We're family. When you're here, you're family. Scrap all our crap. Ooh. Well, we are fully 
Someone returned fully stocked up right there. So. Do I need to call a seminar on this? I'm make a name for myself holding down the fort. When do I get to go out and prove my worth? See what's down here. Each day in service of the Lord is a step. There. Raiders causing trouble again. Do you want to play the Armory's board game with me? Can you tell me more about you? Oh, well, my name is Maximo. You can call me Max, though, for short. My big sister Marcia and I live here now with the Brotherhood. Isn't that cool? Why do you live with the Brotherhood of Steel? Uh, well, the town we lived in got attacked by raiders and our mother was killed. Um, but luckily, the Brotherhood of Steel was there and they saved us. Since we didn't really have anyone anymore, Paladin Romani had us come along with them. I can't wait to become a member and fight off bad guys like they do. I'll make sure no one ever has to die again. Okay. What's so good about the Brotherhood? They're heroes! The Brotherhood is gonna save humanity and help make the world a better place. They save my sister and me and a bunch of other people along the way. Plus, the power armor they get to wear is so cool! Do you like living in Fort Atlas? Oh yeah! It's a lot of fun living in the Brotherhood of Steel base. I kinda wish there were more kids my age to play with, but it's okay. The less distractions from my training, the better. I'm gonna become the best Brotherhood of Steel member that Paladin Romani has ever seen. Whatever you want. It's fun talking with you. Okay. Let's talk more about the Brotherhood of Steel members. Uh, sure. I'd be happy to talk about them. I mean, they're my heroes. What do you think about Paladin Romani? She's the leader of the Brotherhood, and I'm gonna try my best to impress her so that she makes me an initiate one day. It was Paladin Romani's idea to let us stay here with them, and I'm so happy that she did. What would you rather... wouldn't you rather be in Foundation? No way! I can't get the proper training I need to become a Brotherhood of Steel Knight there. I need the best combat training there is, and that's here. Speaking of, I wonder if Knight Shin is busy right now. Do you think she is a good leader? Oh, absolutely. She cares a lot about saving people and stopping bad guys. She's a real life hero. Okay. How do you feel about Knight Shin? Knight Shin is super cool. Have you seen his power armor? He doesn't really talk to me much, but I, I think it's just because he's super busy doing brotherhood stuff and fighting bad guys. Plus, he's usually hanging out by the weapons, and I'm not allowed to go near there. I think we're going to be best friends one day, though. <laughs> I bet Night Shin would love it if you asked him a ton of questions. You think? I want to know all about the Brotherhood of Steel. Don't you think Night Shin is a jerk? What? No. He's just busy. Saving the world is hard work. Someone in the Brotherhood can't be a jerk. They're literally the good guys. Okay. What are your feelings on Scribe Valdez? Odessa is the best. She's super smart and is always saying stuff that I don't really understand, but I'm gonna study really hard. And sometimes when the others aren't around, we play hide and seek around the fort. Do you want to be a scribe? Nah, I wanna be a knight like Shin so I can wear power armor and use cool weapons. If I was to be a scribe though, I'd wanna be just like Odessa. Why do you call her Odessa and so scribe uh, Valdez? She told me I could because we're friends. Just like how you can call me Max instead of Maximo. Although, when I'm a knight, I would prefer if you called me Knight Max. Okay. Sounds good to me. Stay safe out there. That lady go. Not running my own operation. 
Oh, there's each day in service. I don't have anything to say to you or anyone else. Oh, we don't have charisma eight. Why are you so rude? I'm sure you wouldn't be too thrilled to talk to anyone. If both your parents were dead and you were stuck with the people who caused it. How'd they cause her death? I really don't want to talk about it. Just watch out. The Brotherhood can be reckless, and they justify it with some bullshit savior complex. Huh. They do what they can to help people. If you want to talk about how great the Brotherhood of Steel is, talk to Max instead. You two can lick Shin's boots together. Why can't you just leave? I would if I could, but Max refuses, and I can't just leave him behind. We're all that we've got left. Hopefully he'll come to his senses and stop his blind hero worship. I don't like them either. Congratulations on not being naive like Max over here. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Let's not. You should join the Raiders if you don't like the brother. You know what? I just might. We should spend less time. I have to go. Good. Latch's future will be decided. Don't bother me. Shut up. Let's see what's upstairs. Okay, it's just the top of here. Everyone. Oh, that's Ramon. Okay. Request for the Brotherhood should be passed through Night Shin. We need to understand the past as well, or we'll make the same mistakes going forward. We'll go to that terminal in a minute. Oh, that's just back down there. We're all links in the chain, bound in Brotherhood. We've needed Scrap to come. Hope those kids we picked up are doing okay. What were their names again? Started with an M. Max. Alright, let's go ahead. We'll go to that other terminal first. Find the kids in Fort. Oh, really? substructure. What well, says they're on this level? How can I find time to study our history with all these people? Oh, are they in that tunnel? Right here. Oh no, that's right back out to Appalachia. See what this is. Alice substructure. It obviously takes us to a different location, but and not to the kids.
Okay, so yeah, they are... Maybe they're down here? No. Fort Atlas. Speak to scribe about this, but now the marker is in the door. Raiders, the ghouls, anything tries to attack, uh -huh. be ready. Now, was it talking about the uh, maximum? I don't think so. Do you want to join the Brotherhood too? Stay safe out there. No, I wasn't talking about them. No me. Tell Romani that I'm tired of being in this place. Why would every dinner decline? I hope I'll get to meet them in person someday. Grow up. I don't know what kids is talking about. Oh, it's gone now. That's weird. If I don't sleep tonight, I should be able to get this list done. What's the word from the wasteland? Hello, civilian. I don't mean to be rude, but what exactly are you doing up here? Let's see, I helped out that Shin guy. He said to talk to you about getting in on this Brotherhood action. <laughs> I want to join up. Night Shin said you may need some help. Oh, a prospective initiate. Night Shin sent you. And I guess we're both in luck. Paladin Romani makes the call on new recruits, but the Knight and I have some influence. It just so happens I'm in need of someone to help me out on a little mission. If you're interested, I can bring you along and put you to work. Do a good job, and I'll send a recommendation your way. How about it? You better not go back to on your word if I decide to help you out. What is this mission, exactly? Our new base is littered with old technology. But there's something in particular I want to investigate. It's down in the bowels of this place, a, a part of Atlas that we've cornered off. I'm not keen on going alone, so I'd like some backup. Deal. Glad we can come to an agreement. Any questions before we start? Uh, I have a few more questions. All right, fire away. Is this kind of thing normal for a scribe? Ideally, yes, actually. In practice, not at all. We're supposed to be the lore keepers, preserving old technology for the betterment of today. Instead, I spend all my time soldering wires on busted comms equipment or tightening screws on tracking scanners. This investigation will be a breath of fresh air. It's what being a scribe should be about. You don't sound thrilled with your role. Can I do it? Yes, but it's not my life's calling. Believe it or not, I didn't choose to be a scribe. I was born into it. 
My parents chose this life for me. I've gotten used to it, but it isn't mine. I... <laughs> Nightshin would throw a fit if he heard just how unprofessional I was now. Um, we should get back to business. Sorry. Business only. Why not just bring one of the initiates? Normally I would, but today you came along. We have a lot of capable initiates, but we could always use more. Handle yourself well, and I'll be happy to vouch for you. Can I even look at those logs you were talking about? Not as a civilian. However, if Paladin Romani lets you join our ranks, then I might reconsider. Especially if you're a big help on this mission. Let's get back to discussion sure. mission. Ready to go? Need time to repair something. No like this. problem. I have to wrap something up myself. Why don't you head downstairs when you're ready and I'll meet you there? Okay. Because I wanted to read these terminals first, so that's. Yeah. Okay. Let's get to this one first. Recruits, night shifts, training, weapons. My own operation. We're building something big. Oh, don't get left behind. Arrival. We're here. We finally arrived. The state I'm of Appalachia is surprising. But civilians should stay out of command areas. Shut up. To say the least. It's a lush landscape compared to the bleak wasteland that we've had to trek through. This is a promising price. location to establish that a new application. Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel Chapter. We had a good stockpile of supplies here upon arrival. Thanks to Russell Dorsey Night Shin runs and the his armory unwavering support of our for. cause. But there is much to do to be done around Fort Atlas. I plan to for focus my efforts on establishing relations with the existing factions here in Appalachia, especially with the settlers that reside in Foundation. Managing relations with the raiders in the crater will be arduous. Information to say the least, should go through Scribe But is a challenge that I'm ready for. Gaining the favor of the people in this region will make it easier for us to recruit and to fortify our position. Luckily, we have already attracted the attention of many hopefuls and would-be initiates. The people of Appalachia need our help, and I look forward to aiding them. They have already begun coming to Fort Atlas requesting assistance. I charged Night Shin with receiving the request, and I must admit that his distaste for public relations is quite amusing to me. Okay, so she's trying to do what's right for the people of Appalachia, trying to help them out. Surely there's something more to discover here. Password accepted. Uh... Okay, guess she just has nothing, so... I want to miss for defiance, but... I'm not sure I can stand. What we're going to do is go is end it right here, and when we come back, we're going to go ahead and enter the Fort Atlas substructure to help out uh, Val Valdez. I Hope you guys are enjoying it. Have a great day, and I'll see you.